In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the threshold technique to create a pretty cool effect that can be seen in various media, maybe some album covers in the 80s and 90s. I used this, but um, go ahead and download the two support files if you want to follow along uh, with these exact examples, or any portrait can work with not too much background. Uh, you want kind of a consistent background, like a wall or sky, something like that. It doesn't have a lot of clouds. With this one, it's a little bit less complicated. This is a landscape, but I'm going to show you how to use this technique in portraits and landscapes. So first thing we want to do is duplicate this layer. So we're working on a duplicate layer. So Control J on the PC or Command J on the Mac. And then we go to Image, Adjustments, and then Threshold right here. There's not a shortcut here, keyboard shortcut, because probably because it's not used that often. So let's go to Threshold. And what we want to do is move this arrow here until it's right on the edge there where we keep the detail of the face. You know, we don't want to go too far that, that way or that way, right? So something like this would work. I'm going to crop out the bottom part of this here. So something like that should work. I'm going to put line, maybe it's something like 117 and OK. And I'm going to crop out um, for this example something like that. All right. And I'll zoom in. Control or Command Plus. And so for this technique, there are two ways to do this, uh, and I'll show you both ways, all right? So one way to do this is to add a layer between these two that has a gradient on it, and then we can mask out. We don't want to erase, we want to mask, because then we can adjust it after the fact if we need to. It's non-destructive editing. So let's go to Select, and then there are many ways to do this, but let's just go to Color Range. Uncheck Localize Color Clusters, all right? And let's just click somewhere in the background here and then bring fuzziness. Let's see, it's not going to change it much in this example. Um, all the way to the right for 200. And press OK. And then now click Add Layer Mask on the bottom of the Layers panel. All right. So what that does, I'll show you. I click the eye icon here on the bottom layer, the original background layer, and we can see it's transparent on the pixels everywhere we didn't have selected. So I selected the background there and it masked out the other pixels. All right. Now we can paint color in and that will bring those pixels back. And I have other tutorials on masking, but basically we can paint white and black on the mask, make sure we have the mask here, to bring in those original pixels or to mask them out. But we don't need to do that for this example. So add a new layer, the add new layer icon here on the bottom of the layers panel. Click and drag that between these two and then select the gradient tool here or press G on the keyboard. And you can click up here and there are a bunch of different presets oranges, greens, and so on. Uh, you can create a custom one if you just double click and change it here. And we could add other stops here, but for this one I'm going to keep it like this. All right, and click OK. And it can be angled or you can hold shift for a level, you know, left to right, top to bottom gradient. For this one, I am going to have a slight angle like this. Just click and drag, and then there we go. All right, so pretty cool effect, and we can adjust that masking after the fact if we want to. If I Alt or Option click it, it shows what the mask is. All right, so I could paint white or black. So I could paint white to bring those pixels back in, or paint black to mask them out. All right, here's another technique for a somewhat similar look. Press Control or Command J on the keyboard to duplicate that layer. And let's go to Image, Adjustments, and then Threshold again. And with this one, we want to have the sky there white. 
but not remove a lot of the foreground there. So for this example, I think something like 138 should work. And instead of masking out a specific area or color range, you know, it's just black and white here. So we either mask out the black or the white. What, for this example, let's just create a new layer on top of that most recent one. And then I'm going to make this horizontal. So hold shift and click and drag this gradient out with the gradient tool. And then right here, let's adjust this layer blending mode, how this layer blends with the one below it. And we can set it to multiply. We could try lighten, screen, overlay, all those different layer blending modes will have different effects. So for this one, I'll just do multiply. And you can adjust the opacity if you want, if you want it to be a little bit more subtle. But that's also another way to create a similar look as far as this kind of retro gradient look. You could add some text here. This could be a background on a web page, or it could be an album cover, or a book cover, or whatever we want as far as creating a design that has black and white in that original photo and then a gradient either popping through or layered on top with a blending mode. I hope you learned a little bit about the threshold technique and one possible context where we could use that. If you enjoy this tutorial, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and turn on the notifications bell. Thanks.